Hello everyone and welcome to Bourbon Bites Whiskey Reviews with an 80s twist. I'm your host Clifton. Welcome to another Thursday Night Blind live stream. For those of you watching live, I appreciate your patience. Listen, I have 12 whiskeys that I'm drinking through tonight. It takes a minute to prepare a blind flight, especially when someone else is pouring for you. So I <laughs> appreciate the patience, but we got this set up. I'm so excited to try this. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a while on the channel. As you can tell, there's a lot of bottles that I've been saving for this exact purpose. Uh, so in the past, actually, Brandon, who's in the chat, um, he and I have both compared some Buffalo Trace single barrel versus regular on the shelf releases. But we didn't do it blind. We just did a little comparison. I we, That was back in 2020. So I actually don't remember. It was one of my first like virtual live streams where we were like both in two locations. I didn't rewatch that to kind of get an opinion. I didn't want to like misshape my opinion here. But tonight we're doing the same thing, but we're doing it blind. Now, unfortunately, Brandon's not here with me. He was here with me last weekend with our friend Patrick, uh, Bourbon Noob. Uh, had a great time. But tonight we are doing not just Buffalo Trace. That was the original plan. And listen. I have a story to tell you all about today's venture to try to find <laughs> the elusive Eagle Rare, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, but first, I want to say hello. Thank you all for joining live or watching the replay. If you're watching the replay, leave a thumbs up, or if you're watching live, also the thumbs up. And let me know in the comments down below what's been your favorite store pick you've ever had. Of course, those of you watching live can leave a comment down below after. Um, but I want to say, some say hi to some folks. Brett says, where the heck is everybody? Well, they're joining. They're late, just like me. There's lots of, it's, listen, it's Thursday. I've been running around all day. I've been going to my first physical therapy appointment. I've, for some of you may not know, I had a bit of a tumble about two weeks ago. I had to get some stitches in my nose, got banged up on the chin there, and um, did some damage to my shoulder. So um, I got to try physical therapy today for the first time, which was uh, fun, but uh Yes, so I appreciate you, those of you that have been patient with me while I get back in the swing of things. Um, yeah, so that's just the update of all the craziness going on in my real life. But tonight is all about whiskey. So um, if you are impatient like I am um, and you want to see the answer key, the link to the Discord is here in the chat. I posted it in the Bourbon Bites lounge or the Bourbon Bites room, so it's under announcements on our Discord server. By the way, if you're not yet on our Discord server, it's a great community of pretty much all the people you see here in the chat. Um, we hang out, we do we do actual hangouts, but we also just talk a lot about what we're cooking, what we're eating, where we're traveling to, what movies we're watching. Really great community. So if you want to be a part of that, feel free to join us. Um, but if you do want to see the answer key, go to the Bourbon Bites channel on Discord. Now, please, please, please do not reveal in the chat which one I'm drinking as I'm going through these because I don't know these answers. I know like what each of these like, Round one is Buffalo Trace, round two is Sazerac Rye, but I don't know which one's the pick and I don't know which one's the regular one. So if you want to take a little sneaky peeky, you can go on there. You have to click on the individual um, spoiler tag. So you'll see like 1A and then a colon. You'll click on that and you'll see what it is. But un but other than that, like keep it hush hush. Let's, let's do this as a real blind. Emily's here, Zopher is here. Brandon's judging for being a little bit late. I know, I know, I apologize. Uh, Donnie, the Linux cat, is here. Good to see you, Donnie. Brandon says he's here in spirit. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So, yeah, if y'all missed last week's stream, it was so much fun. Brandon and Pat came over. We blinded each other with several, several pours. We finished off with a George T. Stag. It was, I think it was 2020, 2021. It's one of the high-proof ones, so it was a lot of fun. Swan says 12 bottles. I'll see y'all at the Cliffy bus stop. Well, first of all, Swan, I think it might be your birthday. Um, so everyone give a special birthday shout out to our friend Swan or Sean, whoever you know him. Um, yeah, I, I was creeping on his Instagram earlier, saw some Instagram stories. So happy birthday, Swan. So good uh, to have you here tonight. Hopefully you can join us for the hangout. Speaking of shout outs, Baker Drinks. Um, so many drinks to drink, so many whiskeys to drink in one live stream. Well, hopefully I survive because if I do, Y'all have to tune in this Saturday. I'm going live with the folks over at Baker Drinks. They graciously invited me to be a part of a live stream. It'll be at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern um, this Saturday. We're, uh, I'm, I'm glad it's happening. I don't know what we're doing, but if I survive tonight, catch me on their channel. Make sure to give them a big subscribe. I love the stuff they're doing over there. Honestly, I just randomly came across their channel at one point. I'm like, oh, my God, these guys are killing it. So you guys check out Baker Drinks. Really one of one of my favorite newer 
I don't know if they're new, but newer to me, whiskey tube channels. Whiskey knows one of the OGs. We're talking about whiskey tube channels. What's up, Marty and Jenny? Good to see you here in the chat. Brandon says the sign is looking good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Brandon and Patrick helped me set up this cool sign behind me. Um, I do need to get more light so I can make it um, a little more stand out -y. But um, yeah, no, it looks great. Thanks to those guys for helping me get that set up. Looks really, really good. Uh, oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Happy birthday. After 12 drinks, bourbon bites isn't allowed out of the apartment. What? I'm not, I'm not leaving any, I'm not going anywhere tonight. Um, but I'll go to the after party in our Discord. I don't know where you're going with that. <laughs> oh, for fear of another accident. Listen, alcohol was not to blame for the fall. Now I will say, you know, it was the day that we I had done a whiskey meetup. I had been drinking. I think if anything, I slept, I took it like a like an hour and a half nap after. I think if anything, it would have affected my ability to catch myself, which I didn't think I caught myself. I thought I just landed face first on the the, the road. I was on the sidewalk, tripped over the curb, fell on the road. Um, but apparently I did try to catch myself because my arm is so out of commission. So um maybe I wasn't as drunk as some of y'all are claiming I was. <laughs> No, I, I didn't drink that much. I didn't. But um, thank you. Thank you. No, we left early because we were going to go to Disney. So I was like, we went to Disney. I'm like, oh, we don't, the dinner place doesn't open until like whatever. So we we're like, let's just take a nap. <laughs> and then I fell and broke my face. But it's all good. All part of life, I guess. Um, yeah, I know. I know. I appreciate y'all uh, checking in on me. It does, it does mean a lot. So anyways, I think we should go ahead and get into this blind flight, shall we? So, um, like I said, we have six different whiskey, 12 whiskeys total, just six different varieties of whiskey to drink tonight. We're going to see, is the regular on-the-shelf release of these better or worse or the same as a single-barrel store pick select? Now, I know your mileage may vary. Some of these picks may not be the best picks. Some of these picks might be amazing. But this is just blind, my impressions. I actually don't know what, well, I'll, I'll reveal what picks they are because I feel like that's important. I hold no opinions on which one is like my favorite pick or whatever, but, but, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and get started with our first one. So like I said, the order, if you carefully, you're curious about the order, you can check it out on our discord. And here's the link one more time. If you guys want to follow along, see the results before I do. Um, but it's on the bourbon bites announcements under announcements under bourbon bites. So this first one is the one that comes with the story. So, I I have had a couple of Buffalo Trace store pick single barrels for a while. I love them. I honestly, it's probably one of my favorite value single barrel pours ever. Like they were like $26, I think, when I bought them a long time ago. So when I originally planned the stream, it was going to be a Buffalo Tr Buffalo Trace themed stream. So I was going to, um, I was like, okay, I have the store pick. Let me go to just the grocery store and find just a regular Buffalo Trace. Now I know, I know some of y'all are like, oh, Lucky you can find a Buffalo Trace at the grocery store. In Southern California, Buffalo Trace is everywhere. So today I had I had three items I wanted to buy for the Buffalo Trace themed stream I was going to do today. I was going to buy me a regular Sazerac rye because I have a pick of it, but I want to get a regular one to do the blind. I was going to get a regular Buffalo Trace because I already had a pick. And I was going to get a regular Eagle Rare because I already had a pick. So all those are pretty relative. Well, okay, don't want to get ahead of myself. My assumption was that all of those were pretty readily available here in Southern California. So after my physical therapy this morning, I stopped by um, a Ralph's and a Pavilion. So I went to the Ralph's. Um, they actually didn't have either of them, which I was surprised. I'm like, oh, they didn't have any of those options. I'm like, okay, well, let me just go to the Pavilions. It's right across the street. They had the Sazerac Rye, which I just picked up a new bottle of right here. I just cracked it tonight for this um, great stream. And they had a bottle of Buffalo Trace. So grabbed both of them, went to the car, moved on with my day, went to work. Then I, after work, I was like, okay, I still need to go find that Eagle Rare. I went to seven different stores after work, grocery stores, two Bevmos, a Total Wine. I can't find Eagle Rare. Now, like, shocker, Buffalo Trace is hard to find. But I feel like, like up to like two years ago, Eagle Rare was pretty decently available, just the regular ones. Could not find it anywhere. I had to be the person that went up to the Bevmo and asked. I was like, do you have any Eagle Rare? And they said, no. I'm like, okay, sorry. I'm like, I tried to explain myself because I felt like super taterish. I was like, 
oh no, I have a sore pick. I just want the regular one. I, I don't, I don't know why I tried to explain myself. I guess I get self-conscious asking for Eagle Rare, but anyways, they didn't have it. So I came home, I changed the idea. I was like, okay, well, let me just like, I'm going to get rid of the Eagle Rare. I actually thought I had an EH Taylor single barrel non-pick. All the ones that have our picks. I have like two different picks of it. So I'm like, okay, we're changing. It's not just going to be a Buffalo Trace stream. We're going to mix Buffalo Trace, throw in the Rittenhouse, throw in the Elijah Craig. It's going to be, you know, regular versus store mix, as you saw in the thumbnail. I get to get to six o'clock, but like an hour ago. And I'm like, okay, get my bottles out. Do, 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 do. Put them all here. Everything looks good. Get to Buffalo Trace. I set down the new bottle. So I have the pick that, that I already had, which was, um, oh, I don't, I don't, that's getting ahead of myself as well. So I, I pulled the pick that I already had. It was just one that I had from a while back ago. I actually think it was um a, not Total Wine, but a, um, Whole Foods pick, actually, the same as the Sazerac. So I got out my Buffalo Trace pick and the new bottle I just picked up, set it down, <laughs> and notice this little sticker on the side. So my regular Buffalo Trace that I had planned to pick up today to compare to a store pick Buffalo Trace is a store pick Buffalo Trace. So apparently, for $25, randomly, there's so many of them on the shelves, I got a store pick Buffalo Trace from Pavilions. Which is a great, that's a win, right? Like, woo, yes, great price. I should have bought more. But then I didn't have a regular Buffalo Trace. So I had to go all the way back <laughs> to Bebmo, which now I said all the way back. I can walk there. It's across the street. But it was like thunderstorming, and it was like drizzling when I left. Went to Bebmo. The sky let let out. It was it was crazy. Pouring down rain, but it's like, you know what? Whatever, whatever. I'm, I, made, I made my bed, and now I'm in it. So grab my regular Buffalo Trace. And I'm soaking wet. The same guy was there that I asked about the Eagle Rare. <laughs> well, he wasn't He wasn't my cashier at the time. He, I had a different cashier at the time. But I was like, yeah, I came back because I just had to get this. And he said, like, yeah, the only thing allocated we've gotten lately is the Old Forester, the 1924, which I have been looking for, have not found. So I guess there's, like, a positive to this story. Um, I ended up getting that. So next week's live stream, next Thursday... I'm going to be trying the new Old Forester 1924. I also have a new Bernheim cast strength release from Heaven Hill. So next week, we're going to have some fun new releases. So you know what? As miserable as today was, as off-whack as this stream has, has turned into, there's some positives that came of it. So I just wanted to tell you all that story so you know the dedication, as Baker Drink says, to the live stream. It's been a lot, but you know what? We are we're here. We're going to drink. We're going to have a good time. So <laughs> with my story out of the way, Let's get into our first one. Yeah, like I said, we have a lot to do, so I'm going to try to get it done in the hour. We have 40 minutes left. Let's, let's go for it. So if you haven't li yet liked the stream, um, the thumbs up for my dedication. I'm a mess. I'm literally soaking wet, it's, but, like, I did the best I could. <laughs> All right. It was a roller coaster. Thank you. Thank you. I don't have the mm, – I might have a sample saved. I'll have to check that out. All right. First one. Thank you, Donnie, for the for the um, mash the like, click subscribe, and hit that bell button. Curtis in the chat. Curtis, good to see you, man. Hey, hope you are doing well. Thanks for uh, stopping in. I know you said you've been watching the channel, so I appreciate you. Hope you uh, have enjoyed some pours and, and didn't enjoy the weather we've had today. But <laughs> good to see you, um, Matthew. Here as well. Yeah. All right, guys. We we're gonna start drinking whiskeys. We are 22 minutes in. I have not had a single pour, so. Let's get into the blind flight. Like I said, answer key is on Discord link here. All right, first one, Buffalo Trace, either normal or store pick. Let's go with 1A. This is the, the first one we have here. I have no idea which one this is. Again, Buffalo Trace store picks are some of my best favorite value. I'm really glad that I found one today, unexpectedly, as much as I'm like, I had to go back to the store. Oh, no, I had to go back. I'm not a Buffalo Trace, but... I'm glad I found a store pick, a new store pick. So these are both fresh cracks. I have a regular Buffalo Trace and a store pick, fresh cracks. So no one can judge me for being like, oh, maybe it's been open for too long. Listen, on the nose, that classic, sweet, a little bit of the cherry. Like I get cherry more on like the older ones, like the Eagle Rares, but it's just got a nice, like, just balance. I mean, for like I said, 25 bucks here in Southern California, I know. If you're somewhere else, you might be a little jealous, but it's just a solid. I mean, it doesn't have too much oak on it. It's just really sweet, really fruity. Yeah, wonderful nose on that one. Let's go ahead and try 1A. Hmm. 
Hmm. So I said it wasn't too oaky, but on the palette, that's actually what's jumping out first. Now, I don't know the age. I think these are like four to six years old, if I remember correctly, or maybe it's a little bit higher. That actually has more oak than I thought it was going to have. For what's the proof on this? It's like 90? Is it 90? Shoot, I don't even know. Uh, 90 proof, yeah. So for 90 proof, it has a nice, like, it has a bite to it, but nothing too overwhelming or over too overpowering. Really solid flavor, honestly. If that's the regular release, I'm very surprised because that's really good. It's I'm a big fan of that. Now let's go on and compare it to 1B. So 1B is the second one. It's also Buffalo Trace. It's either the regular or the store pick. Who it knows? I'm trying to rush through some of these because I'm, I'm a bit behind, so bear with me. Okay, not too much, not as much on the nose. Though what's there, it's more of like a meaty, like barbecue kind of note. It's not what I expect from a Buffalo Trace, which makes me feel like, hmm, is this the pick? I don't know. It's just a little bit like off profile from what I expect from a normal Buffalo Trace release or even a pick. Definitely more oak forward. It almost smells like a Finnish whiskey, like a um, double oak or something. Interesting. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and give it a try. Hmm. Man, that's different. It's it's also oak forward, but really dry. A lot drier than any um. A lot drier than any of the other picks I've had of Buffalo Trace. If it is a pick, um, not as sweet. It's oaky. Like I'm a I'm a big fan of an oak bomb. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely oak forward. Just to me, if you blinded me with this and told me it was, wasn't Buffalo Trace, I'd believe you because I. Yeah, that's so weird, y'all. Are y'all? I'm trying not to read the chat too much. I'm scared someone's gonna spoil it. But <laughs> yeah, the one B. It's so it's a little flatter. Honestly, like opinion wise, flavor wise, I think I prefer one A. I think 1A actually tastes better. It's more balanced. It's more well-rounded. It's more of what I expect from a Buffalo Trace. 1B, thank you, Donnie, for watching out. Maybe just don't boot them, but put them in time out. <laughs> but, all right, I appreciate y'all. I like 1A better. I think 1B is the pick, actually. It just, to me, is a little bit off-profile, a little bit different. But I prefer 1A. Let's see. Let's reveal. Okay, I'm looking at my answer key now. 1A. Oh, really? 1A was the pick? What? Okay. That was unexpected. It's weird because, like, it, it well, okay, hold on. let me say something real quick, though. I've been drinking a lot of the Buffalo Trace picks, and I love them. I, like I literally said at the beginning, like, I, I love Buffalo Trace picks. They're, like, one of my favorite values. 1A tasted like a Buffalo Trace pick, so I'm like, okay, maybe it's the regular one, you know, right? I mean, it's just the flavor profile. But 1B tasted off profile, but maybe my profile is built around the picks now. Which is weird because I feel like I've had enough just regular Buffalo Trace. So 1B is the regular Buffalo Trace. Why are the picks so much better? That just that solidifies my point that the picks are better. I just thought that was an off pick. Baker Drink says, I really enjoy the Buffalo Trace store picks a lot. I've been drinking mine quite frequently. They are, they are really good. I'm going to have to go back to that pavilions. Um, 25 bucks, literally all over the shelf. I thought, I thought it was a regular one. If you missed the story earlier, watch the replay. That is a fantastic pick. Definitely would pick up another one. If y'all are curious, if you guys have these in your area. Um, it's So pavilions is like our version. So it's Vaughn's Albertson's pavilions. It's not showing up. But it's a grocery store chain. There we go, a little bit. Um, yeah, Vaughn's Albertson's pavilions. Again, did not know I was buying a store pick, but I am glad I did because that's delicious. Fred says, um, same for me. I think I've still got, I've still only had picks of Buffalo Trace, need, not regular. Maybe that's just what I've based my opinion on the Buffalo Trace based on the picks. Why is the regular so mad? Donnie says it is, can be really good. Fred says my idea is based on that. I guess mine was too. Did not realize it was, but there we go. <laughs> the picks are great. Regular stuff is 20 $25. I mean, the competition is not it, there's not much competition in that price range. You're looking at Evan Williams 1783, you're looking at Wild Turkey 101, you're looking at what else is in that range? Rebel Rebel 100. 
They're, I mean, they're all solid, but I think Buffalo Trace stands its own against all those the picks. You see them. Right. All right. Let's move on. Let's move on. I guess this is Tony on his alt account because he gives me an extra thumbs up. So y'all have alt accounts, not to promote it, but like thumbs up. Appreciate you stopping in, Tony, on that account. Tony is here, though. All right, let's move on to 2A. Um, well, first of all, Paul Fix says, I had a Buffalo Trace pick that literally tasted like cherry cough medicine. It was actually hard to drink, but I've also had some really good ones to drink. Paul, I've not had that on a Buffalo Trace store pick, but I have absolutely had that on an Eagle Rare pick. Honestly, like for the longest time, like these guys have been following me for a while. I would pick a Buffalo Trace pick over an Eagle Rare pick because, now that that's a few years back, I haven't had a recent one, so I can't fully judge it, but... A lot of the Eagle Rare picks, I was getting that strong cherry, like artificial cherry note. I didn't like that. So for me, actually, I preferred the Buffalo Trace picks over it, which, you know, for my wallet also was beneficial. But yeah, so I, I get that. But that's always been Eagle Rare, not Buffalo Trace for me. So shifting gears a little bit, let's go on to 2A and 2B. So 2A and 2B are both Sazerac Rye. So one is a Sazerac Rye pick. Um, by the way, if you're curious, that's the one that I said is the Whole Foods pick. So bought this a while back. And one is just the standard on the shelf, Sazerac Rye. So we're going to see which one's my favorite. So let's go ahead and try 2A first. Ooh, it's been a minute since I've had Saz, baby Saz. It's kind of got a nice, like, not super, it's, it's definitely rye forward, but it's not like, over the top, like high, high rye rye. It's got some like malty kind of notes there too. Really nice on the nose. I just haven't had this in a while. Yeah, it, it's just, it's not one that I drink very often. So I actually have no idea which one, the regular or the picks are better. We'll find out. Let's go ahead and try 2A. I can tell this is lower proof. Oh, it's 90. It's the same. Interesting. It drinks lower proof, which is weird for a rye. Um, not overly complex. You know, with a rye, I like I like to be a lot more of like a punch. I think this one's not really punching me the way that I want a rye to. Now, that might not be on the pick. Or it might not be on the regular one. It just might be my opinion of Sazerac rye. Again, I have not had this one in a while. Um, he's, Paul says, I actually get a lot of grape notes from mini Eagle Rare picks. Yes. Grape, but to me, like, I'm okay with grape. Cherry throws me off. I don't like cherry. Paul, oh, Paul is from, uh, Sycamore Whiskey Club. Oh, Paul, thanks so much for stopping in. Yeah, thank you for reaching out to me. I'm excited to hopefully have you on the channel, uh, soon. Thank you for tuning in for a live stream. Glad to see you. Yeah, the two ways fine. It's not blowing, not blowing me away. Let's go in and try, um, 2B comparatively. Hmm. Similar nose, not too, not too far off from 2A. 2A almost has like a bit of more tobacco, like an un, like a, like a raw tobacco note. 2B is more of like a, I don't want to say like malt milk chocolate, but it has a bit of a funk to it. Which is funny because I thought 2A had a funk. Let's go ahead and try 2B. Mm. 2B, 2B, 2B or not to be? No, 2B has the spice kick that I like about a rye whiskey. Now these, again, same proof, same mash bill. 2B just has a little bit more of that... Um, I don't know. It's kind of more what I'm looking for for a rye. Sweet up front. Mid palate is very grainy, a little like hay, like hay in a barnyard. But finish goes to that brighter, mintier little note. And that's what I typically look for. I'm going to try 2A one last time before I make a real, make a guess. I mean, it's good. They're both good. And these are these are closer than the Buffalo Trace to me. 
like one of them's not superior, like super, you know, so much better or anything. Hmm. I don't want to make, hold on, hold on. All right, got my opinion. For two, the Sazerac Rye, I prefer 2B. 2B has more like unique characters. It just tastes a little more unique. 2A feels a little flat, a little too like trying to please everyone. So my guess is 2A is the regular and 2B is the pick. So let's scroll down just a little bit so I can unrack. So I said 2A I thought was the regular, 2B I thought was the pick. Looking at my results on Discord, I was right. Yeah, I mean, 2A is fine. The regular release is, is fine. Um, but, well, Brenda says I'm on a roll, but I missed the first one. So <laughs> I technically missed it, but once I realized the results, it's like, oh, that's because I only drink picks because regular Buffalo Trace is mid or less, honestly. No, it's mid. It's mid for the price. Yeah, this one to me, it was obvious that 2B had more going on for it. 2A is fine. But don't seek out Saz or baby Saz, right? A streak of one. Okay, but I had an explanation for missing the, the first one. Okay, all right, all right. I'll stop making excuses. We got four more whiskeys to try. So next up is three. Three is written out. So I, like I said, <laughs> wasn't planning to do Buffalo Trace or non-Buffalo Trace products, but I'm a Heaven Hill fanboy. So... We went with Rittenhouse. So Rittenhouse, relatively recently, in the past like three or four, three-ish years, they started doing store picks of their bottled and bond straight rye whiskey. Of course, 100 proof, at least four years old. Um, straight rye whiskey. Yeah, Heaven Hill. Love it. So I have a pick of it, and then I have the regular one. So we're going to see. I love them both. Rittenhouse rye is a, is a staple on my bar shelf. I love a Rittenhouse rye Manhattan. It's one of my favorite cocktail cocktail uh rye whiskeys so we're gonna see can i detect which written house is a single barrel or which written house is the batch so that's what number three is so let's start with 3a let's give it a nose oh so very different than the the buffalo trace rye the buffalo trace rye was a little more like grainy this is sweeter I mean, that's a typical Heaven Hill products, right? They're sweet. Yeah. Hmm. The nose, it's pretty, I mean, we're jumping up to 100 proof, so it's going to be the highest proof we drink so far. We're only going to go up from here. But, um, yeah, well, technically, we're going to, uh, oh, did I get the right order? Yeah, yeah. We're going to go down a proof, and then we're going to go up. Okay. Yeah, it's really sweet, really bright. Almost a little citrusy. All right, I'm excited to try this. Let's try 3A. I'm going to post the Discord link for anyone. Look at the answer key again. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Man, I love, I love Buffalo. I mean, <laughs> I love Heaven Hill. Y'all know that. I feel like I sleep on the rise. I don't drink the rise as often. Neat. Like I said, I love Rittenhouse in a, in a cocktail. That's good. It's not, it's not too, too spicy. Really bright, really... It's, it's the more rye bread uh, compared to the Buffalo Trace in this one. This one is more like a rye bread, which I do like. But it's 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 way sweeter and a little more like, I don't know. Let, let's Before I have an opinion, let's go ahead and go to 3B. Three, three, yeah, three B. 3B three B is either the regular or the pick of Rittenhouse. Ooh. I'm liking the nose a good bit better. Almost, okay, sort of, but it also kind of smells like soap, like dish soap. All right, thank you, thank you, Donnie, for giving. Yeah, you guys can read the results, but don't don't post them in the chat while I'm doing this live because I have not seen them. So, three B on the nose. I feel like it's a little more. I don't know. It's a little spicier. Three A has a little more of the tobacco, which is kind of what I was getting on two A, which is interesting. They're completely different distilleries. Two A has more tobacco. 2B has more of the bright citrusy note. They both have it, but these are very close. Let's try 3B. Hmm. 
That has an amazing finish. At the, at the tip of the tongue, 3B kind of felt a little flat, but then I feel like it did a bit of like a 180 and it came back around and it really, it hit me with tobacco, which is funny because I said 3A smelled like tobacco. I didn't get any on the palate of the 3A. Let me try 3A again. Three is light. It's bright. It's approachable. It's good. It's a hint that tobacco is very, very faint. Three B. That finish really, really took me for a turn. Three B is dry and flat up front, but the finish gives me a really nice tobacco note. Almost like a like the other one was more like a raw tobacco. This is almost like you took a puff of a cigar. Hmm. This is tough. Okay. So I have to guess my, what I think is the pick and I have to guess what I think is the, um, my favorite. <laughs> I think my favorite is three B and because it has the unique finish that, um, bit of tobacco long finish, like I said, up front's not my favorite long finish though. Three A is well-rounded. It's approachable. Three B is my favorite and three B is the one that I think is the pick of Rittenhouse Rye. So let's get to our results. Let's go to it. So three. All right. Three A. That was the one that I said was the regular one. I'm right again. Three A is the regular one. I, I can tell like it's to me. It's just like approachable, well-rounded. Nothing wrong with it. I love it. Love Written House Rye. But three B is a sipper. Three A is like make a cocktail with it. Three B with that finish. I mean, it's fantastic. And I'll reveal, this one actually is one that I've had open for a while. This is actually from our friends over at, um, actually, I say our friends. <laughs> it's not our friends. It's Brandon's store, uh, Mr. K's Liquor. It's near, it's near where Brandon lives. I'm sure they're sold out of this. We went, we went to go pick it up. Yeah, it was, it was barrel in 2018. We bought it in 2022. So Mr. K's Private Select. Yeah, 2022 celebration. So this is a good one. I'm sad that it's almost gone, but um, yeah, I've never compared it to regular buff, uh, regular Rittenhouse. I'm glad I did. All right, we are at 7:41. We got about 20 minutes left. We got three more whiskeys to drink through. If you haven't yet, please, please, please hit the thumbs up. It does help out. And if you haven't yet subscribed. We've been losing subscribers lately. Like, not to blame y'all, but like my subscriber count's going down a little bit. So, if you haven't yet done it, whether you're watching on your TV, you're watching on your tablet, your phone computer your blackberry whatever you want to watch me on a little little subscribe button and the bell icon so you can be notified when i go live it does help out a lot um brandon says mr case does some pretty good picks yeah again i've never compared that directly with the regular one i love the finish it's really really good all right number four this is the one i think a lot of people have been looking forward to because this is the we're back to buffalo trace territory this yeah. is Blanton's. Now, both of these are fresh crafts. I opened two Blanton's for y'all. Y'all should thank me. I could have sold these for way more money than I'm going to make on YouTube this quarter. <laughs> so, this uh, is Buffalo Trace Blanton's. Of course, y'all know Blanton's. 93 proof single barrel. Now, they're both single barrels. They're not bashes. They are both single barrels. And these are both old. I actually found these in my bunker. This first one that's not a pick was dumped on june 7th 2018 so three months after i moved to southern california which is funny story um i bought that at pavilions because i was exploring stores i was still getting whiskey i i i, I explored whiskey in south carolina but the selection was pretty minimal so i came out here i was like oh, i'll do a little bit of hunting went to a pavilions grocery store they had a case of blantons and you got a you got a discount if you bought all six of them so like I'm buying six of them, so I'm still working my way through them. Blends isn't my go-to, like, for myself, for myself a poor, but um, it's one. It's a good one to have around to share with friends. So, um, overtime is fine. Okay, I'm not. I'm not rushing it, but I'm just keeping my pace. I like I like making these streams uh, bite size a little bit, an hour, you know. So that's the first, or I don't know, if it's the first or second one. The next one is also a fresh crack. I've never had this. One. I actually don't know how I got this. I have no clue how this ended up in my collection. I don't even recognize the name of this store. Brandon might be able to tell me. 
hand selected by Dory. Oh, my face is my face is there. Hold on. Again, have no idea how this ended up in my collection. There we go. Dorignac's, like Armagnac? Dorignac's Wine and Spirits. Butch Stedman. No idea who that is or where this is from. Um, but <laughs> this was also uh, dumped in 2018. So this is a November 19th, 2018 pick. Again, no idea what the story is or where this is from or how I got it. Y'all, 2018 feels like 20 years ago. I mean, think of all that's happened since 20, 2018. So forgive me for not remembering where I got this. <laughs> but one is a pick, one is a uh one is a non-pick. Right, so this is from New Orleans. That's so crazy. I've never been to New Orleans. I'm going in two weeks. Maybe it's a sign. Donnie says, Dorignac's Food Center is a historic food store on Veterans Memorial Avenue in near New Orleans, known for offering regional specialties. Great, but how the heck did I end up with a bottle of it? <laughs> I don't know. I've never been to New Orleans. Okay, well, that's fun. I'll make sure to drink a pour of this before we go on our trip. Literally in less than two weeks now. We'll be there in on the 20th, March 20th. So if anyone's going to um, New Orleans Bourbon Festival, I'll be there. I won't be ringing this because it's open now, but um, let me know if you'll be there. <laughs> so anyways, one's a store pick, one is a single barrel, both from 2018. Uh, Donald Rance says, good evening, folks. Just popping in briefly to say hello. Well, Donald, good to see you. Hopefully I can see you later on the Hangout. All right, let's go ahead and try the Blanton's. Single barrel versus single barrel store pick. We'll find out. We'll do 4A first. Ooh, that is good. Now, I've heard rumors that Blanton's recently decreased the age a bit. I think it used to be six to eight years old for Blanton's. Maybe a little bit older, but it's, I've heard that it recently has gone down to like four to six. And the nose on that is good. Sweet. I mean, that's like, it's a different sweetness than the, the rice I've been drinking. This is a very custardy creme brulee. Oh, man, that is good. That is a wonderful nose on this one. That is a dessert, which I don't normally get that on Blanton's. So, okay, 4A. 4A has got me feeling some type of way. 4B, which is the other one. Let's go ahead and give that a nose. Also good. To me, this one's more oak forward. Less dessert, less sweet forward. More oak forward. About the same amount of ethanol, honestly. Hmm. Okay. Based on those alone, I think 4B might be the regular one, but I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and taste 4A. That was the one that I got the dessertiness on. Let's try it. Cheers. Ooh, splashed a little. Still got some. <laughs> 4A got me feeling some type of way. It does. Hmm. On palate, though, 4A, it tastes like what I remember Blanton's tasting like. It's good. It doesn't have too much of a finish. You're going back down to 93 proof. It doesn't, it's not, it, it's good. It's good. Now, to be fair, when I told you when I found it at the uh, Pavilion's grocery store, by buying the six pack, I think they were like $58 each. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to buy them all at that price. Um, yeah, for eight, the nose made me feel really good, but the palate's just kind of meh. Which that might be the case for this one too. Honestly, blends isn't isn't my go-to. It's a great one to bring out for a friend. You know, it's a cool bottle, but like, mm -hmm, mm. this is four B. Still no finish, but I will say the palette on four B is a little bit better. So it's a little bit darker, like a darker caramel. The other one's like a light, bright, super sweet, like milk. Like I know there's no such thing as like milk caramel and dark caramel, like chocolate. But <laughs> if 4A was the milk chocolate version of caramel, this is the dark chocolate version of caramel. Very, very rich and sticky. 
<laughs> but neither have that great of a finish. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna say. Brandon says, isn't that an open bottle of glands on the shelf behind you? It is. It is. And actually, that was going to be the one I was comparing. That's a K&L one. But when I went to go pull out my regular bottle of Blanton's, it ended up being this random New Orleans pick that I have no idea how I got. So I'm like, to make it fair, like, like you guys always say, like, oh, well, you've had that bottle open for a while. That's why you have that opinion on it. No, these are both fresh cracks. I've never tasted either of them. So, Roger Randall's in the chat. Cheers to you, Roger. Hope you're doing well. All right. So time to reveal. All right, 4A and 4B. Four A, yeah, four A's not doing it for me. It smelled great. Yeah. I think four A's the regular, four B's the pick, and my favorite is four B. Not by much. Neither of these are really my favorite, but let's see. For the Blanton's part of our blind flight, let's reveal. All right, so four A, which is the one that I thought was the regular one is actually the pick and 4b is the regular wow okay huh i mean they're all single barrels that's also like not i like how i'm getting defensive about these like i honestly don't care but i i think i'm getting defensive they're all single barrels they're all gonna taste a little bit different 4A tasted to me more like what a standard Blanton's that I've had before tastes like. 4B tastes a little unique. And I was like, oh, maybe that's the pick, but maybe it's just a unique single barrel. Honestly, these, these have both been my least favorite of the night. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Second least favorite. The the um, Buffalo Trace Regular, like the non-pick, was my least favorite. These have both been a, a uh, second least favorite. I love the nose. The nose on these are really, really good. Fred said I'm right. They're both, they're both mad. <laughs> and again, these are both single barrels. So like they could be off. So again, not to get defensive, not to get defensive, but part of my reasoning. All right, let's move on to 5A and 5B. You got two more sets to go. 5A and 5B are one of my favorite, just favorite whiskeys of all time. Let me grab the bottle. Ooh. That hurts. That's where I got physical therapy on my arm. So that really hurts. These are Weller 107. One of my favorite. I wish this was available. This is a Buffalo Trace product 107 proof weeded bourbon. Um, man, I miss the days when this was like $60 on the shelf. Um, I know it was, used to be cheaper than that, but, but for me. So I have a regular Weller 107 and a pick of Weller 107. If anyone's curious where the pick came from, this is actually from Eureka. So Eureka is a set of, I think they have restaurants out here in Southern California. They have a whiskey club. They do, they do picks and they do subscription box type things all the time. So we're comparing a regular Weller 107 to a Weller 107 Eureka store pick. So again, I love Weller 107. One of my favorite, one of my favorite bourbons. So we're going to try 5A and 5B. One is a pick and one is regular. Now, notice I switched glass. I ran out of Glen Cairns, okay? <laughs> we we have, I have eight Glen Cairns in front of me. I have a box of them somewhere, but I haven't seen it since we moved. We moved like two months ago. So we ran out of Glens. <laughs> but we, we have some Kentucky uh, bourbon trail glasses here, which I do. I do really enjoy these as well. These are so oaky, like surprisingly for a weeded bourbon. A little bit different though. The 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 five A feels a little more subtle. Now, to be fair, one is from a sample bottle, one's from a full size bottle. But these both smell great. B Bauer in the chat. Hello, good to see you. Sorry, I missed. I saw you. I think I saw you come in earlier but good to see you here <laughs> all right let's go ahead and try 5a oh so good i love weller 107 oh my god i, I people have asked me before like what do you think like your perfect proof if you had to pick a perfect proof of whiskey 
what would it be? I've said multiple times 107. Now, it's not just the 100 proofs or the 115 proofs or the 120 proofs, but if I was looking for a perfect proof of a whiskey, other than just saying cast strength, 107, it, to me, is the most, if you're like as, a, as advanced as me, if you are as experienced as that sounds so bad. Y'all know what I'm saying. Like, you're not going to give this to a newbie. You're not going to give them a 107 proof whiskey and be like, mm, so smooth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but to me, like as an experienced whiskey drinker, 107 to me is a fantastic proof. Let me know in the chat. What is your favorite proof? Like, it just in general, not like a specific release. Don't get all fancy. Well, my favorite is George T. Stag at, at 138.8 proof. Okay, I get it. But if you had to pick a proof, your favorite proof of whiskey, let me know. It could be low. It could be high. I'm just curious to hear what the chat has to say. Bourbon before bacon. Welcome to the chat. I know I've seen you. It's been a minute since I feel like I've seen you, but welcome. Love your name again. I feel like I said the last time I saw you, but um, good to see you. Roger says, love those glasses. Oh, yeah. So when I'm not doing a stream, a lot of times I will drink all these Kentucky bourbon trail glasses just as my go-to. Um, if I'm not trying to really think about the whiskey, I'm just trying to enjoy it. These are my favorite. Yeah, 5A is solid. It's really good. Let's go into go. Let's go ahead and go to 5B. And similar nose. A little more oaky, I think. Let's try it. Hmm. Oh, that's different. That's good. Hmm. Very different than what I expected. 5A tastes like what I experience often with, with Weller 107. Now, this is going to be one of those situations where, again, I'm like, oh, well, I experience them most often. Well, it's because I have picks a lot of the time. 5A tastes most familiar to me, but it's good. I mean, both are great. Both of these blow away a lot of these that we've had so far. I just feel like 5B has a little bit extra going on. 5B almost reminds me of like a, um, it tastes like a toned down well or foolproof, which I know is weird because like there are only a few proof points difference, but 5B has a little more spiciness, a little more kick, a little more body. 5A has the standard, like what I expect of a well or 107. I honestly could go back and forth between which one's my favorite. Tonight, Tonight, I'm going to say 5A is my favorite, and 5A is one I think is the regular one, because I think that's what I come to expect from a Weller 107. 5B is unique. It's different. It's fun. But it's not quite doing it for me tonight. So let's go ahead and reveal the Weller 107s. So 5A is indeed, I'm looking at my key right here, the regular. 5B is a pick. So like I said, this is the Eureka store pick. Um a restaurant chain out here in Southern California. They're both good. But 5A is the standard, like, what I expect a Weller to taste like. And, you know, like, that's also brings another dimension to it, right? If it's what I expect it to taste like, am I being influenced by what I expect versus what's better? Not necessarily, because I will say on some of these early ones, I, I was like, oh, this tastes like what I expect from this. This tastes better. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it tastes worse than what I expect, then, like, yeah, I'm going to gonna call it out. But yeah, regular Weller 107, you cannot go wrong. By the way, I'm going to read the answers to your questions uh, about my question that I asked you guys. Emily says 100 proof. Yes, 100 proof is a great proof. Fred says the proof at which whiskey tastes good. Okay, Fred, I gotcha, I gotcha. Roger says 100 to 120, for sure. Dan is 100 to 110, oh, right in the same range as me. Uh, Paul says totally depends on the whiskey, but 105 to 110 is a nice proof. For, uh, right there with me. See, that's how I feel like, like one, like one, oh, 107 to me is like, it speaks to me. So a lot of times when I'm doing a competition where I have to guess the proof and I'm like, I really like this proof. I'll guess 107. That way I'm right in the middle of 105 and 110 because a lot of whiskeys that are like 110, a few that are 105 ish, most of them are 107, 110, 115 or higher. So, <laughs> but that was, both are really good. I just prefer the standard. All right. Last one. Wow, we're really doing good on time. I'm not rushing either. All right. I'm not Russian. I'm not, I'm actually Irish, Amer Irish, Scott, Scottish, Irish, but um, I'm not rushing either. All right. 
Last one is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Now, my favorite, I've said this <laughs> like literally in like 20 streams, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is my favorite whiskey, my favorite bourbon. Just drink it all day, every day. Uh, so I was like, no, I, I don't actually, I don't drink it all day, every day. I probably shouldn't say that, but I'm saying like if I had a choice, anyone asked me, you can have whatever bourbon you want that's on your shelf. I almost am like, ever? ever? On my shelf, it's going to be this one. I have several of them. So I have a batch of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof that I have not had probably since 2022. So this is B522. I believe that's my favorite one from 2022. Y'all don't correct me on that, but this is 121 proof Buffalo Trace fresh crack. Have not tried it. So I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be manipulated or not influenced by what I've had recently. And a single barrel select. This is a private barrel from Mission Wine and Spirits, a little bit younger at 10 years old. But this one actually comes in at 125.6 proof. So we're gonna finally determine are the batches or the single barrels of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof better. Now, obviously, we're dealing with one batch and one single barrel, but for funsies, we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. So one of these is the private private barrel from Mission. One is a batch, which is a really good batch. B522, I think, is my favorite one of the year. Oh, I really don't want to spill these. We're good. We're good. The after party, I might spill them. <laughs> all right. By the way, thank you all for sticking into overtime. Um, we're still going to do our after party after the stream. So if y'all are curious about that, that is for Patreon members only. You can join Patreon at patreon.com slash bourbon bites. If you just want to support the show, it's as little as $2 a month, you get access to some polls, some behind the scenes content. Um, but at the $5 tier, you get access to our monthly movie night, which we'll be doing soon. We do a retro movie in uh, each month. You guys vote on it. A lot of them are ones I have not seen. Last month, we did a rom-com for Valentine's Day. Uh, we watched one Harry Met Sally. Had never seen it. I actually kind of enjoyed it. So if y'all want to get in on that, that is the $5 tier on Patreon. If you want to join at the $10 tier, which is the most popular tier, as most of the people in the chat are part of that tier, that is our after party hangout tier. We do an after party hangout after every single Thursday night live stream. So we go over on Discord, we join a private hangout server just for us, and we hang out, talk about the stream, just chill, celebrate birthdays, which is Swan as he's still going to show up. We'll see. Um, of course, there are higher tiers like the Bourbon Terabyte tier, which is my $50 tier. That gets you access to a private monthly tasting with me where I will send you a subscription box of five items that come to your door. And um, we will taste that subscription box together on a live stream. So, or not a live stream, sorry, just a private hangout. So right now we have one person at that tier. We have an absolute blast. I text him all the time. Hey, what do you want to try this month? And he tells me what he wants to try. So you want to get on that. You want to try the things we're trying tonight. Check it out. That's the $50 tier, but I promise I'll make it worth your while. So anyways, back to the content. Thank you, Donnie, so much for dropping that link there. <laughs> uh, Paul has to go. Uh, early day for you. Have a great evening. Well, thank you so much, Paul, for stopping in. So good to see you. Roger is drinking a ECVP store pick, 127.7, nine year. Nice. Women of Whiskey's in the chat. Oh, my God. Another one of my favorite whiskey tube channels. You guys got to go support Michelle and Kathy Joe. I don't know. I, I haven't seen... Kathy Joe in a while. I don't know if she's taking a break or not Not a start drama. I don't know. I don't know. But um, Michelle is absolutely killing it at Women of Whiskey's. Uh, she had some great guests on yesterday. Go check out the replay of that stream. Um, but yeah, Kathy Joe and Michelle, if you've watched the previous streams, they're fantastic people. So good to see you guys both or one of you. I don't know. I missed something. All right. So. Let's go ahead and go on to the last one, the Elijah Craig. So let's try 6A. Let's go and give 6A a nose. Oh my God, it's so good. I love this about all Elijah Craig barrel proofs. It's so good. <laughs> this one to me is like darker, richer, oakier, less sweet. It's almost has a bit of a savory note, like almost like a... Do I want to say like a um, extra toasty bread? Like, not burnt, but extra charred bread. So 
wonderful, unique nose on, on 6A. Let's try 6B. 6B is more familiar. 6B is like sweeter, lighter, still caramelly, but not like a burnt, not like a, still bready, but not like a burnt kind of way. Mm. I also know 6B is, 6B is feeling pretty great. Oh, Kathy Joe with the answer. Okay, like I said, I'm not trying to start trying, I didn't know. Kathy Joe graduated college and took a step back from the channel to focus on her next chapter. Still pops in sometimes. That's so great. I actually figured, I knew that she had been doing a lot with their school, so that is great. Congratulations, Kathy Joe. I, I I didn't think when I said drama, I was exaggerating. I didn't think there was any drama. I just I didn't know the situation, so I don't want to like start tea. But that's so great to hear. Michelle, you're doing an absolutely fantastic job. And uh, Kathy Joe, whenever you stop in, you you are too. So <laughs> thank you for explaining though. I was actually really curious. Actually, my husband was too. We were watching and we were like, Michelle's been doing this a lot, but again, we don't we had it, we we had missed the last stream with her on it, so we didn't know that that was happening. So I'm so glad to see that that she's exploring her next step, which is fantastic. All right, 6A, let's try it. Hmm. That almost has like a bright, like, pine. Do you want to say pine? It's, I don't know if it's pine. Kind of reminds me of like a juniper. That's weird. That's very different. Not what I expect from Elijah Craig. Not at all. Huh. Now, to be fair, I've had ten of the pores before this, <laughs> but to me, that's more like less of the darker, richer, older oak that I expect. More of a brighter, I say pine, but it could also be like cedar, really like yellow or green, green oak forward. That's interesting. Let me see how the 6B compares. I'm really excited to try it. On the nose, this one smelled more traditional. I get a hint of that note that I was getting as pine on the first one, so it's still there. It's not it's not too far off between the two. Six B is toned down a bit. That that really bright green wood note taking a little bit of a back burner. Those flavor notes just are like they're competing in a way that like it tastes the same. Whereas the six A, I feel like the that green wood note is beating out the caramel richness. The six B, I think the caramel richness is beating the green note which might be a statement on age i actually don't know these are way more similar than i thought i honestly did not expect these to be anywhere close to each other yeah six eight kind of gives that bright new i don't want to say crafty but it's like a note that i always get on like a craft whiskey like a really younger oak like you you break a twig like a tree tree limb it's like that green wood Get a lot more of that on 6A. 6B, I get less of that. Yeah, 6B feels more balanced, more thought out, more, more mid-palate. 6A is way front of the tongue. 6B is more mid-palate. This is tough because it's like, what do I think is a batch and what do I think is a single barrel? Because I know single barrels, they look for some unique characteristics like that, right? I'm leaning towards saying 6A is the single barrel and 6B is the batch. But it's so, so, so tough. I guess I'm going to stick with my gut. I'm going to stick with my gut. By the way, yes, I meant olive oil and essential oils. Olive oil, if it's a full-size package, essential oil, if it's just a little sample. You know, I'm a little doTERRA living, young living. Just kidding. But, you know, if anyone asks, I'm a doTERRA distributor. I have a, a, a pyramid, a triangle, pyra pyramid, triangle, uh, a pyramid, a triangle if you will of me. Just kidding. Um, okay, 6A I think is the pick. 6B I think is the batch. I think I actually prefer the batch. Let's see. With Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, what's the answer? 6A is the pick. 6B is the batch. I am correct. I uh, I thought so. 6B tastes more what I expect a really good Elijah Craig Barrel Proof to be. 6A is a little off profile. Like I said, this is a single barrel store pick from Mission Wine and Spirits, a brand new bottle. So I've not tried it before. Actually, I tried it on Dungeons and Drams 
on Monday, but it was compared to a few other things, so I totally forgot. The sips are catching up. I know, I know. But it's it's great time to go over to the hangover. Or <laughs> the hangover. <laughs> Tomorrow. The hangouts tonight. So that was fun. What did y'all think? I think, honestly, I was... It depended on the whiskey. Sometimes I feel like I know that the single barrel is going to be better, like the Buffalo Traces, like the... I mean, what was the other one that was, was super better? Blanton's were, like, both meh. Rittenhouse surprised me. Did not know the Rittenhouse pick would be that much better. But um, Sazerac, yeah, I think I prefer the regular one. I actually forget. I don't know. I forget. Okay. <laughs> but anyways, a point was made. A point was learned. I don't remember the point. But it was there. I did pretty well with guesses, though. So I don't know if you, if you want to say the, the regular ones or the single barrels are better. It just depends on the brand. For me... Depends on the stores. Like all these were different stores, you know. Like like someone may have a different palette than me. Some of them were way off. Some of them were uh, pretty on point with what I liked. So, no. Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> but, uh, Mark Vasco joining a little bit late, but I appreciate that. Uh, Women of Whiskey says I tend to prefer the batches over picks with Lighter Craig. Well, we learned that tonight. I do too. I had never done it blind, so I'm very excited to feel the same way. Not to say that there aren't some amazing picks, but like the batch that I had, like even though it's like an old batch from 2022, it stood out and, and it stood the test. So, yeah. Oh, what did I miss? I'm sorry, I missed something with bourbon bacon. What did I miss? Oh no, I just see the c word. I'm sorry, I didn't. I did, I missed the chat. Bourbon for bourbon before bacon. I don't know the story and I don't know the situation or who was affected, but I'm so sorry to hear that. As as Emily says, as Kathy Joe said, or as Michelle said, um, sorry, I was reading the chat as I was saying that. We're here for you. We got you. Reach out to this community anytime you want to just chat, hang out, have a pour. We got you. That's what our Discord's for. Other than other than you know, seeing the answer key, if you guys do want to join our community, it's a super welcoming open community to anyone that's into whiskey at all or into this community or this channel or anyone please join us at discord get on your app your phone your computer wherever you want to get us join us it's so much fun um but i'm going to end it here tonight thank you all all so so much for watching like i said next thursday we're going to do some fun new releases like the new old forester 8 1924 um and the new release of bernheim castron so Stay tuned. Um, and then other than that, thank you all so much for watching. It's been a really fun one. I don't know what I learned, but some things were learned. <laughs> all right. Cheers. Thank you all so much. Hope you all wishing you all the best, whether you're going through something difficult or you just are just having a hard week. I love you. I'll see you next Thursday. Cheers. And until then, this has been Bourbon Bites, whiskey reviews with an 80s twist. I'll see y'all next thursday oh first of all baker's baker drinks saturday night see you on their stream otherwise i'll see you next thursday all right cheers